Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We got some more Darkest Dungeon 2 for you today. And and when did they add the second uh, confession here? We got Resentment. I guess because we beat Denial since they added it. I beat it before, but not um, not since they added Resentment. Let's check it out and see what's going on. Left unsurfaced. Part 2 of my confessions. I think Usher said that um, like 15 years ago in some song. I couldn't name it, but I'm a big Usher fan, so... That's pretty good. Your vociferous calls to bring our findings before the faculty were dangerously premature. Dangerously premature, okay. They had a bigger spiel leading up to the confessions, I guess because it was a, a new one. They were saying something about the, the stress symbol, the, the half circle with the five marks. They were saying something about that. It's pretty special. Or maybe it shows up in lots of, uh, you know, cultures. So... Maybe it's some weird sign. And I would agree. What's this guy talking about? A burgeoning resentment. You're telling me. Alright, let's go to... I don't know what's different in Chapter 2. I assume the last boss is different. I don't know if anything else is. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's see what specialties we got. Apprentice. So you got one upgraded ability. I don't even use that one. Wanderer. Wanderer. Apprentice. We got an upgraded... Raucous Revelry, Wanderer, Rogue. So what's that? If rank 1, plus 50% damage. If rank 3 or 4, minus 50%. Self, point blank shot skills add an extra repost, I assume. Or add a repost at all, apparently. Apprentice, Alchemist. Minus 33% max health. Blight chance increased. Blight causing skills more likely to crit. And lots of resist. Alright, I'm going to pause the recording, and then I'll think of a team and unpause it. Okay, and we're back. So here's what I'm thinking. We got Paracelsus, because she's an alchemist. So we got High Blight skills. That's pretty good. And we're going to use Indiscriminate Science instead of the Battlefield Medicine. Especially if we have to heal Dismas, because he'll be getting positive tokens. Since he is the rogue, he'll be doing some point-blank shots. He could also be doing some double crossing to generate shields. We got Boudica in second position as the stress healer of the group. It's an AoE of 1 when people are over 5. Besides herself, it's better. Um, so I'm not sure about that. And we got some stuff she can use from the second position. Maybe we get more unlocks for her. Audrey, who I don't want to use, but sometimes you just gotta... For more of the unlocks, too, maybe she gets better. Um, and this is upgraded, allegedly. So maybe that'll be cool. But she's got her basic loadout. So she'll be doing some damage. Obviously, our bulk of the damage is done to the front of an enemy team first two positions mostly um, so let's try it out and see what's going on in uh, confession part two what was it resentment that should be pretty fun Onward, once again this guy sounds like he's having a ball all right we got our basic leaf pile here still four regions I don't know if we're still going to the mountain these goods or if we're going somewhere else with purpose all right we're gonna imbue these goods with purpose that's a pretty good suggestion all right, what kind of trinkets do we got? Crit, stun resist, sounds good. You'll be in front. Crit on the Helion, sounds pretty good. You're going to give that for friendly vibes, and you can take some of these. That sounds pretty good. What's up, Boudica? Turns, okay, yeah, we know. If you're low on HP, you deal more damage, which is great. So we're going to trade the tanking between Boudica and Dismas, maybe. Paracelsus on heals, Boudica on stress heals. Uh, I didn't want, want to run the exact same group was last time, though I was tempted to. I was definitely tempted to. Okay, let's give some good feelings to Dismas. Thank you for this great bounty of a feast. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's see what else is different in Chapter 2. All right. So far, seems pretty normal. There's a bridge, as per usual. To attempt and fail is no shameful thing. No shameful thing. Okay, if you say so. I'll trust your word on it, Mr. Narrator. All right, this seems pretty basic still. All right, we can do flashing daggers. Some AOE damage. Boudica here. She had some other abilities, but they moved her forward, and he's got the rogue thing, so I didn't want him out of first position, besides when he backs up for the shot. Uh, let's see, nobody's marked. Bleeding. 
Sounds useful for maybe a bigger enemy. And this is attack steal plus 20 for damage when target is bled. Well, that's like a wild lineup. Let's just hit that guy. Alright, Paracelsus here is a pretty fun person to use. Let's Magnesium Rain, as per usual. Honestly, we could just double cross this guy and kill him. Once the fire ticks over, is what I was trying to say. So that's cool. Alright. Rude. rude. Stun me? It's the first battle. Extremely rude. Alright, we got the shield, so that barely did anything. And you're dead, which is great. Alright, and the early Dismas would be good, so he's last. That's great. Uh, we'll work on her, because we're probably going to point blank this guy to death. Alright, Paracelsus throws a little bit of blast. That's pretty good. A petty hindrance. Stress heal, you gotta love it. And I noticed, uh, I think it was Paracelsus and Dismas both have a plus 20% positive banter. So that's gonna be helpful, I feel. We are the flame. All right, burning we got some good relics there, some mastery. I don't know what we should upgrade. Boudicca's stress heal is already upgraded. Maybe Paracelsus's heal to make it more likely to heal somebody to get them off death's door, uh, perhaps. Or we could upgrade point blank shot since we'll be using that a lot. But you saw there was a minimum of nine damage because of his 50% buff, so. Buffing that would be uh, be pretty good. That's true. About to hit the inn. Is that the okay? That's still the mountain. At least to my eyes, that's what it appears to be. So that works. I know the route there, kind of. Rest tonight. All right. Under the mountains, unblinking gaze. The fetter, which is apparently pronounced as the feeder, the shroud, the sluice. What's this? 20% max HP, that's pretty good. What's the goal? Fight at no more than one resistance counter. I'll try. Self on crit, extra action. When the Grave Robber crits, there's a 25% chance to get an extra action. That's pretty good, too. But I was thinking we could go to the Shroud. The barnacled timbers of the and then maybe the next the area, we get the... Um, you, you like going to the Shroud? And you got healed, that's great. Secrets. Maybe the next area we could go to um, the trophy boss, wherever the next area is. One I don't know yet. Quickly when survival demands it. So this ups to 10 to 13, which should actually be 15 to 22 without any vulnerables or buffs or anything. So that's pretty good. I'd call it uh, pretty nice. So let's do it. All right. So that's an easy choice. Anything on the in items we want to do? Move resist. Extra HP. 2% crit, we'll save that. We don't need the stress heal. Provisioner, do you have anything bear. super what cool? Bear bite. traps are cool. Uh, but I don't think we're going to spend anything just yet. Alright, let's head out. And give it a shot. Journey onward. We have some extra inventory from our coach item. So that's pretty cool. And uh, let's fight some fish. There's going to be some baby fish. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill them. Because they're usually third or later, third or fourth. So we got to look out for that. So if we want to skip resistance encounters, I see like a thousand of them on the map. I don't know if it's even going to be possible. What the hell? Hold on. All right. Well, here's three in a row if we go left. So I'm guessing we shouldn't do that. Okay. We skip them here. There's one here. We could go to the hoarder. Go to the bell. I'm assuming the question mark isn't it, but we'll, if we go to the right, we go to the watchtower, and then we can map it out even better. I guess it's possible. We just definitely don't go to the left here, because then we get three encounters when we're supposed to only fight one. So hopefully everybody wants to go to the watchtower. Let's see. Yep, we can all agree. Good job, everybody. Well, we're stressing out the team, and what can I say? All right. You have positive banner chance, and you're, you're screaming at people already. We just started. Dismas, I... I'm already tired of your crap, no offense. Alright, we got some more molds, some more relics, that's pretty cool. There you go, Paracel's saying some nice stuff. Let's see what's going on here. Hospital, study, we already know these. Okay, uh, assistance encounter, hospital, okay. So, if we're to avoid everything here, we could go up, we could go to the lair. We don't have to fight the Leviathan, but we could get a cash as a reward, because we don't need the hospital. Or do we? What's everybody's fear of fisher folk? That's fine. Nervous, that's a little bad. Germaphobe. 
Unlikely to be a problem. Erudite? I don't know why that's an issue. Okay, this could be our one if we go up through there. Lots of road battles. We hit Hoarder, Assistance Bell, Hospital. Right before the end, I guess. Or we go to that encounter and skip the other one. And go to a study. I'd rather hit that one and then hit a hospital near the end. Maybe somebody will contract uh, scurvy by the end as well. So that'll be good to hit a hospital. Let's give it a shot anyway, you know what I'm saying? Alright. That's a pretty good start. Because that guy's dead. Alright, let's hit two. Critting one, that's pretty nice. I was interested in her trinket, but not just yet, you know? Let's, um, we can blight the back two, definitely, because of her ability. It also deals one to two damage, or we could fire everybody. I guess since there's only three left, definitely blighting two sounds pretty good. I mean, he only gets one turn if he lives, which I think he will. Now, you don't move backwards ever, which is a shame. But you could yawp, which decreases this guy's damage. Blood loss. Or we could just hit this guy. It's, it's a possibility. Alright, five. It's a little low on the range of damage, but it's okay. Alright, you crit our guy. I don't know why you chose to do that. And frankly, I'm upset. I'll be honest. Okay, push her back. No. Stun resist, move resist. Understood. Alright, you shot the combo target. Didn't use up a combo, though. Alright, good ol' what's-her-name. Engender some good feelings. We can flashing daggers and literally kill two people, so that sounds kinda good, in my opinion. Alright, any stress heal? Nobody? Okay, cool. We don't need to attack the front, so just shooting this man sounds pretty good. For four, you got three, you got six. Okay. And then doing this basically uh, guarantees your death well, on your next turn. Or Boudica could do it. Alright, pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff. But we're definitely not no built to tackle the the, uh, the Dreaming General. This work is no I, I'd say we could fight the Librarian necessary. or the Child. Because we uh, they move around, or we can make them move around. And even in the second or third position, we deal a lot of damage. Or can. Maybe. Oh, what do people want? Grenades? Smoke bombs. Alright, sounds pretty good in my opinion. Everything seems the same. I guess everything might just be the same except the final boss. As far as the chapters or uh, the confessions go. Some more bread. I appreciate that. Some more mold and bear traps. I like that. Alright. Audrey and Paracelsus getting along as per usual. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, you lose Torchlight, gain Torchlight. Well, it upsets Dismas, or Dismas upsets two people. I'd like the Torchlight, because there's not many other assistance encounters that I recall. So let's, um, Paracelsus, a good friend to everyone, can Scavenge what you can. be good friends with Audrey Maybe some more. Once more. Okay, and I'd say we could, we could go to the lair and check it out. Maybe fight a round or two. And, you know, half the people want that anyway, which I totally remembered to take into consideration. Let's give it a shot. You can have the bunk next to mine. You guys got bunks in the wagon, I guess? Oh, plus two. That was pretty nice. We might have some early friendships. Hopefully, they're hopeful and not just uh, lovers or whatever. But we'll see. With the repellent stench of rotting fish. This guy keeps talking about fish. I don't know why. That's alright. Alright, let's see if we can kill this guy. Yeah, it's guaranteed. It's a pretty good start. Even if the baby's born, he's gonna be... Well, not alone, but, you know. Close to it. Let's engender some good feelings. Empowered. Empowered. Even though I don't think anybody's gonna be getting burned in this fight. Well, maybe the enemy. I'll be honest. Alright. We can throw a dagger at the baby. It deals three to five. You're not marked, so it doesn't... It isn't more likely to crit. This deals blight damage. Two to four damage. This deals three to five. What's your blight resist? Ten percent. Let's stack the blight. Paracelsus can help in that regard as well. Even a bear trap could work. But you're taking two. You're going to take five. You might heal yourself a little bit. 
Let's not use the bear trap just yet. Because now you got five. You're going to heal maybe four. So if we deal at least seven damage, we might be okay. Oh, you, you didn't heal. Oh, you did a dodge instead. That's worrisome. But now we just need to deal three damage, which is possible. Why is Paracelsus stressed the hell out? Who did this? I'm upset. All right. Let's burn a dodge and crit a corpse. Paracelsus, deal three damage. There's two, plus a blight, so you're good to go, little baby. Um, we could do this and cure some Paracelsus stress, which I think is important. But it was only one, so that's, we'll see if it works. We'll see if this works. It's an experimental uh, conglomeration, that's for sure. I guess we could advance here. No issue with that. Oh, and that guy died. Well, we're good health-wise. Stress-wise, not so much. Let's see. In this world, we'll take that. Without purpose. Oh, that was the um, that was the road battle. I thought that was the lair. I'm so silly. All right, let's keep walking. Paracels is still at five, so we need to do another combat heal for her. It's a shame we don't have any Steal yourself. laudanum. But that's alright. Alright, we got four Johnny Depps. Congratulations, by the way. And uh, let's see what we can do. That's not that great. Why is everybody hitting my girl? What's up with that? She's getting stressed and stuff. Alright, this guy can probably die. Just kidding. Alright, you got two. You're back there. Paracelsus, you can hurt this man to death. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, looks good there. Spear fishing, they might be moving us around. I didn't give what's her name lunge, because I needed Boudica in slot two, and now she's even in number one. So this is great. Let's do the stress heal. Because we can. And you got a buff. Death blow resist. You're dead, that's great. We got a duelist advance here, that's for sure. You're stunning our Helion. I don't appreciate that. Alright. Audrey. Did you get rid of the winded or the... I guess you get rid of the winded. No, you got rid of the stun. That's great. Um, okay. We can focus on one of these people with the poison darts. I guess that'd be a smart play. Lethality writ large. Okay. So four, three. You, you still need a double bomb. Alright, you're going to be dead, which is great. You need to advance, so that works. And you got all the reposts in the world, so that's nice to know. Alright, Paracels has taken some damage, sadly. Take one of those. And uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm thinking three damage. Oh, we did four. That's pretty good. Good repost. He'll burn next time. Paracelsus is in second position. This was extremely not supposed to happen. Alright, who's living? You're gonna die. You've taken five. Take one of those. A little blight action. Paracelsus, can you do anything? You can heal yourself for two. Heal 10%, remove all positive tokens. Plus 10% healed per positive token. Well, it's not all that. And that's not even that much more helpful, so why not? Maybe in the end it'll matter. You only have a 19 health anyway, so two is actually, uh, well, some would say quite a lot. You're taking eight, you got seven, so no issue there. Might as well try. Even though you're at minus 50% because you're in third position, and that's okay. Alright. Subtraction, this guy's doing math. Let's see, we could do the next round for more rewards and a burn salve. I'm okay with that. Like I said, I don't know if we're going to be able to take out Leviathan, or even this battle, but we'll give it a chance. Alright, you can't heal yourself right now. We can work on the back too. Oh, this guy's ordained. Oh, the big guy's ordained as well. That's scary. But we could three-shot him if we're lucky with point-blank shot, but it still takes a few turns to set it up. Anyway... Uh, what's all your blight resist? 20 and 10. Let's blight this back guy. Paracelsus can blight the both, but you got more HP, so you need the extra blight. Methinks. 
Ignores, resist. No, we're not going to any of that. Um, a simple strike would be good. You're at five stress, though, which I still don't understand. I could have sworn we were trying to get that out of there. Let's give it another shot, though. There we go, Paracelsus. All right, Paracelsus, it's your turn. Honestly, bleed. 20%. 40% bleed this guy. Just because we can. You know what I mean? All right. And work on these back, too. Two criticals. A double critical. I like that. And so does Paracelsus. Healed some stress. All right. Don't move our... Uh, ah, son of a gun. Well, don't move him, right? Well, don't move Paracelsus, either. All right. We can blind this guy. There's a 70% chance it works. I'm okay with that. He resisted it. And uh, let, let's shoot him. For 17. That's pretty good. Grave robber up front. That's unexpected. Okay, this is no time to falter. Everybody moved. Everybody's getting stressed. Well. <clears throat> we'll try our best. Pick to the face. That's upgraded, which is interesting. And it deals uh, extra damage. Might crit. It missed. As per the smog dictates. No problem there. Um, let's see. We could rain of fire. We could heal you. We could ounce of prevention. Not that I think that's the time for it. A little more. Plague. Sounds pretty good to me. We got eight on you. Six. That's a shame you're going to live another... Well, you're going to die on your next turn, but it's a shame you live right now. Same for you. You got eight. We need to deal one damage to that man right now. And we're blinded, so there's a half chance this does not succeed. But it worked. So that's incredible. Alright, so he's dead now. The Helion. That's on cooldown. We could lower the damage this guy does, which sounds pretty good considering he's hits for 15. Or we could try to bleed him. I think adding to the bleed sounds pretty cool considering he's marked. So now we got five bleed. Oh, that's fine. Nobody, uh, nobody's upset. Audrey got hit. She's got an ability to heal herself, but not others. So what's up with that? Let's advance. This guy's gonna die. So dealing two damage is low, but nice. Uh, I guess heal yourself. And then we got some dodges and reposts at the front. That's pretty cool. You're good here. I think it's time to blast the front unit. With a big blight, you're taking nine damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If it bleeds. Sounds pretty good. Okay, you got a lot. Of, you got 11. All right, you're not surviving too much longer. All right, good dodge, Audrey. Good dodge. We're all happy for you, I'm sure. Okay. Try this out. Not too much. Not too much damage. Should have moved her back so he could shoot him. But oh well. We can advance now and shoot him next turn if he's alive. Which he probably will be. But who knows for sure. Alright, Paracelsus. Actually, if you deal three damage, you could knock him on the door. There's a 50% chance you do. You're not blinded. Okay, you put him on the door. The dots might take him down. And they did. So that's great. That's great. Alright, I mean, this is all interesting. Stew pot. That's pretty good. If bleeding, extra action. That's pre it's pretty good stuff. I don't think we're going to be able to handle the Leviathan in our current state. Or maybe ever. But if we circle back around to the Shroud later, maybe. But we got 16 monies, some salve, and some other junk. Alright, I think some people need combat items. Let's re-up in that regard. Okay. Here you go. And there's more people that need them, but we don't have them. Um, let's see. I don't know if we should put Battlefield Medicine back on. Because it's better heal than Indiscriminate Science. But it's not limited to three a turn. But I guess as long as they're over zero, they're off Death's Door. And that's the main point of a heal, sometimes. So... I don't know. Can we get some stress heals? No, Boudica, that's not what I was talking about. But you can heal your stress easily in, in combat. What's everybody talking about? Do we pick up something? Thunder, clap, grenade, shuffles, enemy party. That might work out. That might work out. Put a baby at the front so we can shoot it. In-game, of course. 
Paracelsus, you have plus 20% positive banter, yet you're yelling at Boudica. Why? Alright, a cash here might be pretty good. Some more trinkets seems uh, pretty nice, assuming we get any... No. Okay. But we did get more items, as per usual. That's always good stuff. Let's see, you heal somebody. You you had holy water before, so keep it up. Holy Audrey. She, um... You know what she likes to do. Alright, so we're gonna go resistance encounter. That's gonna be our one for the quest. Destiny and then not be shoot over and hit the hospital. Just making sure it's all the same. And then we actually have Paracelsus, which wants the uh, encounter as well. So that's great, in my opinion. It's a shame there's so many road battles, but there's not much we can do. Luckily, Boudica can heal some of the stress. Chaos must be met with unwavering resolve. Yeah, I've always said that about chaos. And I'm glad this guy agrees. Alright, a simple battle, some would say. And I would agree. Let's see, we got 15. Oh, you're ordained. Let's work on her since she's ordained. The four of us are going first, so that's pretty cool. Double Blight sounds good. Maybe we can knock this guy out before he goes crazy. Usually he stealths and then goes crazy. Um, okay, let's engender some good feelings here. One of these. A little overkill, if you ask me. But that's okay. And you need to do this. One, two, five. So you healed five stress in total, Boudica. That's pretty good, of course. That's pretty good. All right, your stress. Right. Repose there is pretty nice. We marked him for some reason. All right. Resisted the stun. Oh, oh, you moved me to the front? Well, that's just a punishment I'll have to take. If, if, if Paracelsus does another plate grenade, these two are dead. Well, she's dead anyway. Um, but you're at four, three. Okay, so you can work on the front unit. Not that we need help with that, since Dismas is in front. But still, you know, just in case. Let's see some good feelings. Okay, maybe one of these. And there's Paracelsus. Okay, that's great. Alright, two on the back guy is really nice. They're both dead. Pretty simple road battle, if you ask me. Probably get four relics as a reward. And that's okay. It's, it's something. Oh, and we even got more. We got a, we got a trinket? That's pretty good stuff. Alright, let's see who we want to equip. We got stun resist. How about some disease resist since you're in front? And then we got an item that we don't want to use yet. Or we can't use. I mean, that'll be more helpful than the fire resist. And it engenders good feelings. Maybe better feelings. So, oh, what's happening here? A positive relationship between Paracelsus and Audrey. They're inseparable. That's Two true. Facets of the same stone. I, I don't know a single sentence or a sentiment that would make that bond false. Let's check it out. There it is, inseparable. Okay, that can have some downsides, just like uh, Amorous, I think. So not the biggest fan, but that's fine. Okay, what's everybody want to do? You want to leave? You want to fight? You want to fight and they're blinded? Dismas, why? Why do you want to leave? Everybody hates Dismas on these choices, and that's my own fault, and I'm okay with that. It, it was three of them. That's pretty simple. And one resisted the blind. That's that's great news. Hey, that's cool. We needed that, yeah. All right, and any ordained? I don't see any ordained. Bosun is gonna get shot. I don't mind doing one of these. Poison dart, a, a definite candidate for upgrading. I gotta see how many mastery points we have when we get out of the fight. All right, that's good there. Do our best here, or you could de-stress Dismas, and he does need it, but let's start out with one of these. Okay, seven's respectable, I would say. It's very respectable. Hit me with an ounce of prevention. I don't know what these sickos are going to do. But we got them on the ropes already, so a little prevention sounds pretty good to me. You stressed out my Paracelsus. Or you tried to. It's extremely rude. Alright. You bled through the ounce of pre I don't want to talk about it. Alright. A critical for six was unexpected, but that makes her dead at the beginning of her next turn. Let's do this. 
because we can. She dies. Dismiss is up. He has the bandages. Is that right? So you can engender good feelings. There we go. And then uh, stab that man. Oh, that was quick. Alright, lots of critting. Okay, we got rid of a bad marker between those two. That's good. I thought they were close to being friends, huh? How about that? There's a mastery. Got some boots. Moving. Dismiss is going to be moving. A lot. What do we have? That's our first mastery point. I guess you do get mastery. Is that from the resistance encounters? I think so. So that's not good news that we're not going to do any more of those. Um, let's see. Do I want you to have armor over this? Or do we just give it to you? Because you move technically when he moves. I don't know if that counts for the trinket, though. Yeah, take some bleed resist. Take one of those. And Boudica, you might be in front, so take the disease resist. You might get targeted with such heinous actions. Let's see what's going on here. Assistance encounter. We know those don't give mastery points, that's for sure. Can I really trust to have you at my back? Well, Stumbling apparently not, fighting. even though you've been singing revelry with us all all day long. Alright, this is a tough battle, but Plague in the back sounds like a, a good start. Nobody's at five stress, so we don't gotta worry about that. We can bleed this man, but he's not even ordained. So let's just smack him a little bit. Literally a little bit. Alright. 20's pretty good. 20's pretty nice. He's in the middle. He's down to nine health. We could actually kill him easily before he uh, even attacks. Alright. Play grenade to finish him off and start working on the little guy. Never mind. They moved, of course, as per usual. But still, two will not. It won't knock you to the ground. Well, let's knock him to the ground. With the blight, sadly. Okay, he's still alive. But he's got the weakened. So he, he wanted to deal 21. He only dealt 5. So I'd call that pretty good. But it was still a crit. There's stressing. There's stress healing. Dismiss went up and down. Nobody knows what's going on. We can't target the back creature, sadly. But Boudica can sing a song. That's always fun. Alright. She cured herself of 3. That was it. And that's A-O-K. Could shoot you. You're gonna die to a lot of other stuff, though. Might as well advance and stab you. Let's see, you're gonna tick over and die. Then it's this guy's turn, sadly. Critical for eight is quite distressing in game and in real life. Here's a heal, even though you didn't need it. Well, maybe one. You're at six. I think your revelry, revelry is on uh, cooldown, though. So I'm not worried about that. Try this out. Okay. This guy dies to the plague. And who doesn't these days? Alright, that's pretty good. The past is gone. Let it die. An in item? That's nice. Let's see. Boudica at six stress. Dismas yelling at somebody. Boudica yelling at herself and Dismas. Alright, we're going to hit a fight, and then a shrine, if I'm not mistaken. I think both our middle units need to learn more abilities. I think Boudica is best to take that uh, potential, because right now, her regular attack, it leaves, it leaves something to the imagination. Plus, maybe she gets a step back attack, so that'd be good to dance with Dismas back and forth. We'll see what happens. Alright, you're stressed, you're dying. Or maybe everybody just dies. That, that's one way to end a video. I've done it a few times. Alright, engender good feelings, I guess. Or whatever. There you go. Well, we de-engendered bad feelings. So I'll count that any day of the week. Uh, you perish. That's good. Okay, let's get that bad feeling back up there. Boudica? What the hell? Let's see. I think some plague would go well here. 
All right, Boudica's gonna de-stress, of course. I think she's done it basically every time it's been up since we started the run, somehow. And it's been necessary each time for somebody, one way or another. Oh, we got we got two dazed. That's not great. So you're first, except you're last. So see you later. Um, we could advance here and attack this dog if we dealt seven. No, it's, it's well. We could add another play grenade in there. Why not? You did do five at, at three to five. You did do five. So I'll, I'll give you that much credit. Oh, you don't go because isn't that funny? Can we hit? can hit this dog, which would uh, probably end in its death, so that's good. In game, of course. Alright. Alright, you wasted that on the guy who's gonna die. You still have repost and dodge, sadly. But that's alright. You're gonna need another hit. Any days? Not this time. Alright, do one of these. Okay, he dies to Blight next time. Almost died to just the darts. Okay, stress heal on the lowest stress member. I mean, it's definitely odd. This would remove Repost, but heal him for a lot. I don't know if we have any other battles coming up soon. Eh, do one of these. Alright, that eats the dodge, which was the main purpose of that. We still have a Repost. I don't know who should eat that. How about Audrey? She's fine. She's bleeding, but she's fine. Alright, I'd love to get another stress heal off, but I don't think that's going to work out too well. Paracels, at this point you might as well do this, because this guy's going to die to dots. And I think this is some cooldown? Oh no, it's not. That's great. And then he dies to dots. Okay. Boudica, she's trying. All she's doing is healing stress, but we're thankful for it. Kind of. The past is gone. All right. The good news is when we hit the bells, we're gonna die. get mastery from them as well. I didn't think about that. That's good news. So, is that where we're going? No, we just fought this battle. What's this icon? Oh, assistance. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Can Dismas? Can you agree with one person once? Yeah, you can agree with everybody actually. Okay. Is anybody one off from a good... No, you all feel pretty neutral, except these two are in love for some damn reason. Well, Boudicca and Dismas, I would prefer if you didn't have negative-ness. And you're offering the same thing. So, there you go. That goes down by one. I think that's how that works. Got a lot of junk. That's pretty good. Melee skills plus damage. Could give that to one of our meleeers, Audrey. Melees sometimes... That's melee. Everything else is ranged right now. Lunge is melee, but I don't want you dancing behind Boudica. You're not really meleeing, and it's low damage anyway. You're meleeing at times, but you're also just healing. Well, what, what's better? 15% damage or 4% crit? 15% damage all the time. What's 15% of 4 to 8? Does it even amount to 1 often? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, let's give it a shot, though, because maybe you can crit more, because sometimes you hit two targets. Okay, Paracels is definitely lacking some trinkets, and that's my bad. But that's because the fire can't crit, you know? Okay, give you one of these. Maybe you'll cheer somebody up someday. Alright, and we're going to give Boudica the first bell. I think our route takes us to another bell, which is great for the mastery and maybe great for Boudica. I think she's missing two abilities. Primeval, water -worn monoliths were and, okay, you two just got floor. negative points for no damn reason. You didn't even say anything. Tectonic action. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I think the last bell for most people gives two abilities anyway. So this might be your last bell, Boudica. Let's see. Chapter 5. Yeah. The Great Emptiness. Okay, and in both of her combat turns... She fled from certain battles. Let's see how she redeems herself. Alone and untethered, uh -huh. she wandered the countryside, yes. fighting for sport, for sport, and soaking her wounds in wine. That doesn't sound good. She sought death at every turn. Okay. Desperate for a second chance to prove her mettle. Right. But it seemed even that terrible wraith had forsaken her. That's bad. Her isolation was absolute. Yeah. Her shame, barely concealed. By a fragile facade of fearlessness. That's a lot of F's. I like that sentence. Oh, that was the end of it. Oh. Well, she's sad all the time. 
and who isn't. Require self HP less than 33%, cooldown 3 uses 2, heal 20, remove things, gain on attack, heal 20. And what's this? First or second? 8 to 14 da damage. That's pretty good. Cooldown 1 ignores armor, wins yourself. That's interesting. We might be able to put that on the current ability board instead of your regular wicked hack. I mean, it does more damage. I know it's got the cooldown, but you were basically revelrying every other turn anyway. But we could bloodlust when that's on cooldown. What do you think? That's a strategy. And that's probably worthy of upgrading. Let's see when it upgrades 10 to 18 damage. Ignores armor and protection. I like that a lot. That's interesting. Okay, so it's, to complete the quest, we have to head to the right. Luckily, everybody also wants to head to the right. Okay, if this warder has some laudanum, I'd be deeply in his debt. Well, I'd be paying for it, so maybe I wouldn't be in his debt. You guys are getting negative. I don't even know why. Dismas is crying about everything. Still not sure why. Paracelsus got stressed over Dismas's coarse words. Not a big fan. All right, stagecoach, restorative items, inventory slots, some things stack higher. I don't think so. We only have 28 baubles, so we only have some weak eh, range scales plus 15% damage. On Dismas, that would add three on a good point blank shot. I guess it's not the most in the world. I like Meditative Totem often, so let's take it. We're full. We can't take anything. Let's think about it. No laudanum, so that's a shame. We don't need three five percent chance to stealth. So let's take the totem. We might need this minus five stress at this point. Everybody's getting stressed. This makes good feelings, but add stress. We don't have a roast pig. Sometimes we usually acquire one of those. Uh, playing card, pretty good chance at being good stuff. This is minus stress. This is minus two. This is pretty good. We gotta get rid of uh, some mold for that. Something to ease the rear. That's 74 the relics. Room. We're gonna need some more relics for the hospital, but we'll live. Um, let's leave it there. I mean, we're, we're at our full capacity now. Another assistance counter might make us throw out some more mold. We'll see what happens. We got another fight on the road here. That's why it's all broken up on the map. Or at least I'm pretty sure that's what it indicates. Yeah, here it is. Okay. And that's not even sea life, so this might just be the bandits or the skeletons. Okay, it's the skeletons. Ghouls, maybe, is what they're called. Oh, gone. I see it down here. Okay. We could work on the ordained one. Too bad we can't hit that guy. Let's just give him some extra damage. Dismiss says goodbye to you. 29. That's a pretty good hit. It's a pretty good hit, I guess. Alright, good crit. Good stress healing. Alright, you're taking... You might bleed from that. No? Okay. Not sure how that works. Howling. And... I mean, we only need to do 6 damage, and it does 9 to 16. So I'd call that... I'd call that pretty okay. It dealt the least amount of damage possible. So I like that. Stress heal between you two, that's great. Paracelsus needed it and appreciates it. Let's damage he who is stealth. And what's her name? Alright, don't be stressing all my... Okay. Got some horror on the team. No problem. No problem. Uh, we, we could throw... Do you have the melee thing? No, you don't have the melee. Okay. Just try to hurt her, I guess. We can't hit the guy in stealth still, but that's okay. Dismiss. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to advance, kill you. Paracelsus is going to burn away the corpses. And then when you're in front... Uh, you could disease somebody, but hopefully you don't. Alright. And you're taking 5 damage. You got 10 more health. Alright. No, no disease. Just a burn. I'm okay with that. Not the stress as much. You can take one stress point off your friend there. And why not? You're on cooldown for your ability anyway. I think. Okay, and you and you wrap it up. Critical. So that might heal some... Nope, never mind. I think a critical at the end doesn't heal stress, which confuses me. Apply on hit. 15% chance to lock them in place. 
Uh, that sounds fine, but I'd rather have 15% chance to blind or whatever. I would give that to the Grave Robber with her AoE. What are we? Oh, we're over encumbered. Eh. Not interested in that. Maybe if we had a specific kind of team, I would be. But not right now. Dismiss, do you hate literally everybody else on the team? Because that's the way it seems right now. And I'm tired of your attitude, mister. I'm going to turn this wagon around. Next weird thing you say, pal. Don't test me. Can you tell I don't discipline my child often? Alright, what are we doing? Oh, we want to... Dismiss, do you have any friends? Not a one. No one feels any kindredship towards you. And if we selected you, they'd hate you even more. So, either way, Dismiss gets the short end of the stick here. But you want to leave, you want to lose Torchlight, but gain... Supplies. I will steal any... Wait, she says steal... You're going to steal from these... This poor man and his bread barrels? What do you want to do? A true hero gives, and neither of these people agree. And my studies do not spare me the luxury of time. I can relate, even though I really can't. So there we go. We're just going to leave. Sorry, Mr. Old People. Um, okay. And I think Audrey needs abilities. So we're going to hit there, there. Oh, we're actually pretty close to the end of the world. And, um... That'll get us another mastery going this way. So that'll bring us to three. Which is okay for the first uh, area. I've certainly had more. I wouldn't like to have less. And you two hate each other again. That's great. Boudic is stressing out we're not even in a battle. So I really don't know what to say there. In fact, we don't have a battle until the Guardian battle. Because none of these are road battles. Which is pretty cool. Alright. You got any cool abilities? Because right now all your ones, uh, well, they're questionable at best. Chapter four. Chapter four. I think that means we Filthy fight a rich. fake battle or whatever. So let's see it. Filthy Rich. She killed her husband. She dug up his grave. That's what I know so far. This might be our last character unlock, actually. To preserve her social standing, she would pilfer the rings from his What's fingers. going on? Okay. Loot your husband's feet. tomb. Apparently it's guarded by coffins... And a watchman. Okay. So we got pillars. Marked location. This rank may be searched. What? Take a moment. Minus stealth. Pick to the face. Use it only from the front. Requires target guard. And requires target no sus. Open coffin has to be one of the front two. So I guess we're just moving up. Because right now we don't have any stress to take down. We're prowling. Oh, we moved into a marked location. I understand. Okay. Hopefully that's our only error. So if we move up next time, that might do that. So we're just going to do this. Okay, he looked up front anyway. Alright, don't mark this position, good sir. Or, or go right ahead, I suppose. Well, might as well. Search here. Okay, thank you. Must be rats. Not... Okay, you're marking nothing that I care about. That's great. What's this? Watch. Protected by Vault Watchman. And what was that? Requires target no watch. Open a coffin. So do we want to open them or kill that man? We're both. Either way, we can search a coffin from the second position here. One of these two. Well, let's see what happens. What are you watching? Uh-oh. Okay, we could move or we could open a coffin and take the 50-50. I, I guess we'll open it and see. Whoops. Okay, at least we didn't get at least we didn't get searched or whatever that was. Okay. Does this send us backwards? No. Okay. Let's just de-stress. Four stress is a lot, in my opinion. All right, Audrey. Let's see what you've done to earn your shackles in life. All right. Open coffin. Okay. Oh. What? Treasure. Trinkets and baubles. Yep. What the hell does that mean, though? Do we get a new ability? Throw trinkets and baubles? Open coffin. Well, I think I'd rather move forward and then attack that man, right? Is that what we're doing here? I don't know. Because if he's dead, then we can just loot the coffins. Unless I'm crazy, which might be the case. Okay. 
Oh, another coffin. That's good. I'll take one of these. Just dust and bones. Okay, so we're just looking for more hidden blades? Careless. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Heal yourself of stress. And I don't think we can lose from here unless I'm crazy. Okay, I might be crazy. Careless. You know, just, just give me a give me a chance. All right. Oh, we found a live guard. Uh oh. We got two trinkets and baubles. Are we supposed to get to three, maybe, or something? We could loot here or kill that man. Then again, he does have block, which is bad because then we only deal four out of five health. So what if we looted this instead? Oh, there. Oh, okay. Special coffin. He's not looking. He didn't... Okay, he did block that one. That's kind of rude, honestly. Husband's coffin. Okay, so we wait a turn, and then we can loot it. I assume. Assuming he doesn't mark it again. Let's see what happens. He did not mark us, and he marked something else. Okay. Take a look. Alright, I guess we win. And what ability do we unlock? Shadow Fade, Self, Back to, and Stealth. Okay. I, I know she's got some stuff she can do from Stealth that does certain uh, things, so maybe we'll work on that. It's not an immediate ad for me, personally, but when we get to the end, maybe we can think about it. That reminds me, we should go to the hospital. Literally all four of you don't want to go to the hospital, but don't you want to get their quest done? We gotta semi-good trinket. Sorry, everybody. Boudica, you'll survive. I hope. Okay. Let's go to the hospital. Some of you can get some uh, negative stuff taken away. What the... You guys are yelling at each... I, okay, I get why Boudica's upset, but Dismas is still saying crap, and he really shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we're getting some hope. We're throwing out some caltrops. I, I hate to miss some caltrops. A useful item, in my opinion. Alright. What's your quirk? Fisher folk. Not interested. Nervous. It does give you speed. But apparently this 10% has been hitting left and right. Your erudite. Let's get rid of the nervous. Let's see what we can laudanum buy the for laudanum. Are high. Okay, we can't buy any Best more of that. Uh, let's see. Baubles, trinkets. In items. What's some good in items? Some resistances are good for later, in my opinion. Well, it depends where you're going, obviously. Uh, throw out this mold. Grab me some laudanum any day of the week. And uh, we'll call it a day there. At the hospital. I suppose one sometimes needs a second opinion. Sometimes. You're a fool. I don't know who she's talking to. Probably Dismas. What the hell? Dismas is full of self-loathing. I don't know why. But Boudicca is going to be revelarizing every turn we can. And I'm going to blame Dismas, even though Boudicca's higher stress. I'd be high stress too with Dismas around. This guy's a bit of a crazy person, in my opinion. Let's go up here and see what's going on. Alright, some more Jack Sparrows. Three of them go before us. That's not good news. They could stress Boudicca out before we even get to move. Okay, they're not critting. That's good. And he resisted the move, if there was one. Okay, Audrey, that's fine, if you know what I mean. Alright, you're all, well, you're ordained. It's a shame. Um, we could work on the ordained one, and deal some blight damage. 15% resist is pretty low. So this hit easily. We could burn them all, or we could blight definitely two of them. Or we could ounce of prevention. Do you guys bleed? Let us take a closer look at No, thing. not really. Okay. Alright, and it's a shame that our highwayman goes just after this guy. Uh oh. That's not good. But we did resist the move. So we get to do this. That's good. Critical. Heal some stress. Heal some heals one stress. You gotta heal that stress. So you don't go crazy. He's still going awful. 
So we gotta wait a turn for that cooldown, and then we can revelry again, I believe. So that'd be pretty cool. Five. Take some more of that. We're blighting the back two almost every round, and he's shooting the front one or two. It's it's working out. It's not perfect, I guess, you know, or whatever. But it's working out. Why are you on fire? That's rude. Please don't hit my doctor. She went to medical school for a year or two. Engender some good feelings. You're dead. You're five, three, thirteen. Add three, that's six. So I have to do at least... I think you're getting hit by something else anyway, but then again, you might be getting attacked. You heal you for two. Might as well light him up. Well, two of them anyway. This guy's gonna die, so that doesn't matter that much. Uh-oh. Can we stop criticaling on Dismas? The man's, uh, the man's falling apart. For God's sake. Alright. Good feelings. Even though, you know, she didn't need the stress. But what's her name can heal it soon enough. Uh, let's do this. Yikes. Alright. You're stunned, which I totally remembered. Hopefully that still rolls the cooldown on Revelry. And now people are going to get stressed just because there's some freaking smog in the air. Big, uh, big, big environmental activists, which I totally get. But, you know. Um, okay. Working on you. I think you're dead to these. Nope, never mind. Oh, did you resist a blight at some point? Maybe just now. Well, next time. Next time. Alright. This man... Advance. Alright, Paracelsus, the one and only. We could heal you for 14. Or we could attack this man. We need to do at least 4 damage. It seems incredibly likely due to the fact that we are guaranteed to do that. So I'm okay with that. Alright, and you need to... You didn't... Okay, so that doesn't count for your cooldown. So we cannot revelry. That's quite a shame. Quite a shame. Let's remove your winded and give yourself a buff. Maybe you feel good about yourself. You're going to die to dots. I don't know if we're going to get any moves. Probably not. At long last, a breeze. We removed winded. You didn't get a breeze. What are you talking about? Let's take aim. Audrey here could be stunned. And this guy's going to die to dots. Alright, our stress is literally through the roof. Almost. So I think we got to go. Sadly. Calculating more right. let's take all this. I think we're gonna have to edit our backpacks a little bit, and that's okay. What do we got? Two left over. Stack this laudanum. What do we have for uh okay, you need laudanum. This grenade, not all it's cracked up to be, in my opinion. I know it has its uses, but not for me. You know what I mean? Hopefully this is one of the ends that hits us with a minus two stress when we get there, because we're gonna need all the help. We can goddamn get. And Paracelsus and Audrey yelling at each other. Alright, Boudica. As a solo stress healer, you're not... You're not doing it. Dismas is about to freak out. And we're literally about to ride to an end. So hopefully he doesn't. There's, there's a chance... Okay, no, never mind. Alright, we're still headed towards the mountain. Incredible. And we made it to the inn. Also incredible. Very stressful... Very stressful day. For the caravan of compatriots, and we got all this loathing because of, we avoided the damn encounters. So that'll be a challenge, but we got a trinket from it, so maybe that's worth it. Any good stuff here? Let's see. Let's check that out real quick before we call it a peacemaker. Plus 30% positive banner and 20% positive banner, and you've been yelling at the whole damn crowd every day. So shut up, Dismas. You're a liar. Hard noggin. Sun resist. That's good. And what'd you get? Thanatomania. Who knows what that means. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Please leave a like. We're in Chapter 2. We're going after the big boss, whoever that is. Or bosses. I don't know if it's another four squad. Who knows. Um, but that'll do it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you hated it. Subscribe if you want to see more Darkest Dungeon 2. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. See you next time for well. Goodbye. And see you later.